Guys, we're back. Um, we started out our day. We've got a hawk hovering like right around where my chickens are out at. So I'm just watching him. I don't know if you guys can see him up there. Uh, we actually just lost a couple chickens to a hawk not too long ago, so I'm a little weary about leaving them out. I only have a couple that fly like over the top of our coop or find their way out, so I'm hoping that they're smart enough that they'll still survive anything that comes at them, but they're chickens, so. But yeah, we're back. We started our day out here with our what to expect when you're expecting um, for baby goats. We had to stop after this morning, go to church. We had a birthday party and uh, now we're back. So we're gonna go ahead and prep some of our does to be put in um, their birthing stalls, which will require us to shave their udder. Um, just give them a once over, maybe look at their hooves a little bit, make sure they're, they've got, um, they look like they're in good condition. Next, we're gonna go over the different signs for the onset of labor. It can really differ from goat to goat, but we'll kind of go over that a little bit. Not things that we do to get our does ready for kitty and that's gonna be we're gonna be shaving her udder by no means does everybody have to do this I just like to do this because with them being dairy goats and for the purpose of showing and things like that just keeping a good record of how her udder develops with age it's good to shave it so we can get a good view of it um, and sometimes it does make it a little bit easier for the babies to find the teats so right after they're born they're a little bit easier to find and you can already guys tell like she doesn't like me back here she will be a first time freshener so she's not really used to anybody messing with her udder and see she's already wanting to kick and stuff so it'll be fun you guys will be with us when we start um stand training her for milking but uh yeah mm. she's she's gonna and she's very pregnant now on the left side this is their stomach on the right side that's where the babies hang out so this looks real pooched out but this is because she's been eating hay and things so I'm trying to make it where you guys can see this but she is not wanting to do this mm -hmm. i'm also going to be shaving her tail when she gives birth all the afterbirth is going to get stuck here and i just want to kind of make it as clean for her as i can The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to check over her hooves just to make sure they're in good shape. This will be your last pedicure before um, she delivers here in the next week or two. She, she does have a nice udder already starting, but it's just not quite as big. But some of their udder doesn't drop or some of their milk doesn't come all the way in until maybe a few hours or right at birth. So it's not really a big deal um, that she's not there. The fact that we don't really know coverage dates on her too doesn't help, but we're going to go ahead and look at her hooves and make sure they're in good shape. we look for when a doe is approaching that time where she's supposed to be kidding is we check her ligaments starting from about a week or two out if you check them that early on you'll be able to tell what they feel like when she's nowhere near labor and you'll be able to tell as they thin out that she's getting closer so you're gonna put your hands you'll see here Joe okay you want to kind of run your fingers down alongside her backbone down to her tailbone right here and on the sides here, if you feel around, you should be able to feel her ligaments. They're gonna be real nice and thin, but they're gonna be hard. They feel kind of like little pencils underneath the, her skin. So if you can find those and feel those, you know she's nowhere near um, getting ready to kid. These will soften and thin out as she gets closer. 
So when she does get closer and they start to get soft, you can almost reach your fingers all the way around and touch underneath of her tailbone down here. Um, it'll feel like jelly. And that's another reason why it's really important to start checking early on because then you can tell the difference day to day as she gets closer. The next thing that you'll notice about her, so you guys can tell like for her backbone where it runs down into her tailbone, there's a nice angle here. But as she gets closer, this angle is gonna go from like this to being more and more sloped. You'll be able to tell, it'll be almost like her, she's tucking her booty in underneath of herself. So, and she'll be nice and thin through here. Another good thing, that you need to look for starting about a week or two out, maybe from your due date, if you know when they were covered, is you will see that they'll lose their mucus plug. And it can be any type of membrane or mucus, just some kind of icky stuff that's coming out of her lady parts. And that's just her body readying her for kidding. So those are some things to look for. Another thing that you might look for for does is they tend to do things a little bit differently. If you've got them in a kidding pen like we do, you'll be able to tell they'll start to paw at the ground and make a nest, a nice soft bed for them to have a kid in. They might become really vocal, really, really vocal. Or if you've got a really vocal doe to begin with, she might get really quiet. I have had some that do what they call stargazing, where they're kind of just off in la la land, just staring off into the great abyss. Um, or it's like they're seeing something in the corner of the room that you can't see. The other thing that I've noticed is my grouchy does or my shy does sometimes will get really friendly. They don't want you to leave them. Um, Dilly was like that when she first came here for her first kidding. She wasn't very friendly to begin with, but when she was getting close to kidding her first time, she did not want anybody to leave her side. And sometimes your friendly does won't want to have anything to do with you. So a, a lot of it has to do with recognize, knowing your goat and recognizing signs that are out of the norm. we've got for you today, guys. I really appreciate your guys' time to watch this. We have some really neat videos coming up. I cannot wait for you guys to see some of these kids that are gonna be hitting the ground. I'm hoping to get some live footage of our kids as they come into this world, so that you guys can experience that with us. But until then, guys, go ahead, smash the like button, ding the notifications bell, subscribe. We appreciate you being here, and until next time, bye. bye.